My name is Spike. My name is Spike. And I am playing Into the Radius with Scavenger Mod and a few other things. Uh, I made a couple, a couple, a couple quick changes. Um, I changed some of the settings again. Uh, just, I don't know, the difficulty of the game wasn't feeling, I don't know, up to my level of experience with the game. So I changed some more stuff. I changed the wipe. I decreased the time. I kind of make it more, you know, a little more hectic to get out there and do the thing. And match closer to the quote-unquote realistic settings of the game. I've been just customizing my settings. I still have a couple custom things. Uh, I don't have as many anomalies. I decreased that only because I hate the anomalies. I don't, I don't know. I don't think they offer as much of a challenge uh, as just annoyance. And they're loud and, and all that kind of stuff. So I, I did a couple things like that. I increased the awareness of the guys. Uh, I also increased the, the number of them. Just one level. So and we'll see how that goes. There might be... So far, it hasn't been really that challenging. There hasn't been that many dudes. Um, so I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if I have a certain version of the scavenger mod that uh, just doesn't have all that kind of stuff in it. So before I go anywhere, before we look at missions, um, I got my backpack reasonably clean. And I cleaned my room up a bit. <laughs> so it's not it's not timid bunny organized, but, you know, hey, this for, this for me is pretty good. So SKDC will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some real messes in the past. Um, just a curiosity, I've always wanted to know, will these burn too? I'm going to leave it there for a little bit and see if it ever burns. I was just curious of cleaning off those shelves, because I know there's like other hidden things in the, the radius I want to pick up. Uh, so yeah, we got some missions we got to pick up today. Uh, the wipe is going to happen. I did this on purpose so that um, all my changes that I did to the difficulty and everything are going to take place on the next wipe. And we'll go out there and we'll 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 see how it's going to go. <clears throat> um, so before missions, I'm just going to sleep real quick. Uh, I also turned off sleeping heels. I just felt like sleeping for literally ten minutes um, is just cheating. Like I slept for five minutes and I was fully healed from being most of the way dead. You know, it just didn't feel like part of the quote-unquote realism. So I turned off uh, sleeping heels. So it's just going to be healing tabs and uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the, the, yeah, the tent thing, the, the healing station. I also banged my finger and I got another cut. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to sleep to let the wipe happen. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll see what kind of missions we have. Be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Three days. All right. Right. Hey. All right. Just looking to see if there's anything new on here. All right. So let's see. Magic. Let's see uh, what missions we have. We're going to talk about a couple things today. I want. I want to get off my chest a little bit about life in general. Um, I just ramped at you guys instead of ranting at my wife like I usually do. That poor woman is just kind of sick of me. Oh. Yeah, someone mentioned, um, Teak Studios, I believe, is the one who mentioned, D don't turn in priority missions, turn in side missions, or turn in priority missions first, and then side missions, because that works you towards your next priority mission. And I did that, I did that in the wrong order, so that's why we need one more, uh, is now locked. So we got to do some BS missions. All right. Keep playing, keep playing. All right, so, uh, let's see. Well, at least we got like a big choice of missions here, so that's kind of that's kind of fun. Uh, meta met, metastasis, metastasis, uh, or is that metastasis? Metastasis. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, find the uh, shard. It's over by the train station. It's probably inside that uh, inside that room right by the entrance. Uh, what else we got? So we got a village one. Whoa. Nope. 
Uh, no, I hate the paparazzi ones, guys. I know some people do them. I just can't stand them. I just fucking can't stand them. Uh, in and out. Find a neon. Use gas masks. Oh, it's right by the entrance. That one's not too bad. These rewards are terrible. Oh, my God. Papers be making me crazy. All right. Well, this seems like a pretty straight one. We'll go this one. Uh, we'll go to... What was that other one here? Oh, there was another one. Is it this one? No. It's paparazzi. No, I guess not. Well, I mean, I guess we can go to the train yard and have fun there. Do some looting. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Start the mission. That'll give us some time to get out there and explore a bit and talk about a few things. You know, um, let's see, we got 1,400 hours, so a few hours before darkness. Three days before the wipe. Half tank of gas. It's dark. We're wearing gas masks. I'll check my comment section to see if anybody puts the rest of it. <laughs> I also started putting all these healing things in here. This is probably a mistake. It's probably going to eventually fall through this thing, but you know what? We'll take a chance. <laughs> all right, let's get let's get to it. And we'll talk about a couple things here. Um, we're not buying super loud doors. All right, so. Welcome back. So for those of you who are just joining us, we're playing the scavenger mod. I've also added the uh, fog, which basically just, I mean, you're supposed to be going into the fog and all this kind of stuff. So this really adds that sense that you are in the fog. Like you can barely even see the border. Then I like that. I think that's pretty cool. I like this, in my view of the radius, it would be weird to have this big, long, clear view to the other side. This is kind of more what I expected when they keep talking about the fog, the fog. I went to the fog and I disappeared forever and this guy never came back and I heard screams and, and where are you, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I was just about to say something and literally just squirreled. All right. So, um, yeah, we've got a pretty good stock of equipment. We should be good there. It should be good there. All right. So uh, real quick, I want to let you guys know in case I do some sniffing or coughing. I caught COVID during the week. And uh, so I am still recovering from that. If my voice, if my voice sounds a bit husky, that's why. I'm trying not to talk too muted, so I'm trying to enunciate all of my words like a thespian actor. Hey, I have forgotten how to climb. Come on. All right. Hey. Uh, Attention. This is UNPSC on. emergency guidance reporting L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the Pechorisk radius. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC to guide affected personnel to safety. Inside this emergency cache, you will find a basic survival kit that will get you to the nearest research outpost. Enter the fog to find it. See, right there, I, I sat around because I wanted to kind of emphasize my point. See, they mentioned the fog. Enter the fog, and I get it. The fog's the ring around the radius. I don't know, I just, this feels like this is more what it should be. You know, and maybe, maybe it's, uh, maybe I just enjoy the sadisticness of the Silent Hill kind of treatment. I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious to see how much more aware everybody's going to be as far as the creatures go. Um, they're probably going to be able to be aware of me further distances than I can actually see. All right. What the hell? Like nothing respawned. I mean, the wipe, the wipe did happen. Is this part of scavenger mod? Where the wipe, nothing refreshes after the wipe? Who knew? I mean, I got a random bullet. <laughs> and a cigarette. Cigarette. All right. We'll see how long that heals us up here. 
yeah, I don't know. Did, so maybe you guys could tell me in the comment section. Did, did, did does the wipe not refresh gear? Ooh. Let's see. Let's see how long before he's aware of me. Oh, yep. Yeah, they definitely increased the distance. Oh. Well, sorry guys, I didn't turn off my my notifications apparently. So <laughs> let me deal with this guy and see if I can see if I can do that real quick here. All right, let's do it. That was weird. Like the remote wouldn't work there for a second. Uh, I'll be right back. One second, guys. One second. All right, guys. Sorry, I just became aware of why that's coming off. I'm connected to Steam, so I'm playing off my Steam account and my computer. Uh, and yeah, that's um, that's why the notification is coming up because I have it on my Steam, and I'd have to exit the whole game and come back. So hopefully there won't be a, uh, a constant popping up of notifications. But if, that's, if that keeps happening, I will. Man. So there are there are some items that did respawn, but man, just. Yeah, see, he's aware. Okay, good, good. That's nice. That'll be fun. And by fun, I mean horrific, but whatever. We'll deal with it. So the topic. I'm head over here and murder this guy. Murder most foul. Throwing mode. And underhand. Hey. <laughs> All right. So what I want to talk about is something I've kind of had. Uh, it's 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 been a philosophy of mine for a long time. So let me just take a second to kind of make sure I gather my thoughts on it correctly. I don't want to just babble incoherently like I usually do. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to be a little more cogent when I talk because um, I think some of these topics are kind of important. And I think some people can benefit from hearing it. I'm not some guru. I'm not trying to present myself in that way or anything like that. But, but you know, some people, you live a certain amount of life, uh, you know, right? The okay, boomer, right? I'm not a boomer, first of all. But secondly, you just get that kind of thing where people just, you know, don't take you very seriously just because you've lived a long time. But the opposite happens, too. You're young and people don't take you seriously just because you're young. So it can kind of, it's a you know, two-way street of stupidness. People all have something they can contribute. No. Oh. Maybe not all people, but most people have something they can contribute uh, to logic and to learning and to you know, moving forward and stuff. Is this new? Settled on a hill next to the railroad. It looks like there was a substation or something before. Cleared the area. Had those NATO guns. Huh. Um, so anyways, yeah, so you can, you can learn what is with the remote grip. Wow, it is really goofing up today. Are my controllers running out of power or something? I have to check my batteries, make sure they're not getting low. All right, so anyways, yeah, you can, you can benefit from, from just about anybody, um, in any kind of uh, life that they live, right? So we all have different experiences, even if sometimes it seems like we're experiencing a similar thing. It's, in reality, we're probably not. The way we view the event is going to change it for for us. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, wow. Uh, um, a second here to sort all this. Was this all just... Jesus, a lot of ammo. So anyways, to the point. Everybody has something they can teach or learn from or something like that, right? There's Even if even if you're a good, uh, bad example. <laughs> you, know, you know, I've been that. I've been, I've been a good, bad example. I've been a, hey guys, this, for a world object, I, I missed my barrier. But I can't have it on while I'm recording because you'll see the barrier constantly showing up. Um, but yeah, you know, you, you, 
you can be an example of somebody to somebody where somebody can say, "Hey, listen, you know this this guy, kind of a, kind of a goofus." These all the stash notes that I've seen. Yeah. So I have a phrase, and it's not my phrase, but it's one I use quite a bit. And anybody who knows me for a while has heard me say this about something, right? I've said this, or in regards to some element of. My life, or other people I know's life. Oh, darkness, darkness. Um, yeah, let's go over here by the train. And we'll cut that way, do this. Cut into the yard, do that. Clean up, loot, run away. <laughs> so, Stupid Stubborn. Stupid Stubborn is, a, is one of my most favorite kind of descriptors of people. so noisy um and do i get noisier as i get more gear like all right so stupid stubborn is essentially uh, a way of thinking about handling shit situations so you're stubborn literally for no reason there, there's no logic you can't articulate why you are just going to hold the point you are just going to do a thing, like take your pick. Whatever the thing is, whatever you're going to say, whatever it is that, that you are going to do, even in the face of it being detrimental to you, you're still going to do it. Sorry, it looks like somebody walking over there. Oh, there is somebody walking over there. Oh, it's a walker walker. I don't see any... Definitely got to do it. Right, see if we can clear these guys out here real quick. Hey. I think my controllers are running out of oh, hey. <laughs> running out of power. Um, but anyways, yeah. So stupid, stubborn. It is the act of doing something for no reason. There's no logic to it. There's no explanation for it. You can't validate it. I still think that train drops off a passenger. Because now I swear I hear movement, like footsteps, like a uh, like a mimic. Anyways, um, so yeah, it it just doing it for no reason, and I don't know. Uh, 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 I think it was a philosopher. I don't even know which one. Don't ask. Don't quiz me on it, guys. I would lose that bet all day. But essentially, the unexamined life, right? I think is is kind of how it goes. If you don't spend some time figuring out like why you do the things you do, you know, what is the purpose behind it? Um, On two? I guess that's on two. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. interesting behavior. He literally just stood there. Wow. I'm going to be fighting these guys in the dark with this fog at this time of night. It's going to be nuts. Hmm. Excuse me one second there. Sorry for that sucking sound, guys. I just uh, smacked my bookcase when I was organizing my gear, so I got a little, a little bit of blood coming out of my finger. So stupid stubborn is essentially the act of uh, stubbornness for no other reason but stubbornness and you're not going to change and you just and you and for some reason you're proud of this I don't know where are you <laughs> can't tell if this is the one up on the roof running around or just the guy on the ground running around 
I don't think he's on the ground. Oh, there he is. He's on the ground. I'm really sorry, guys. I know the fog kind of makes it hard to see. Oh, that was some lucky shots. Okay. I just told everybody where I was. Yay. <laughs> Should probably keep the gun out. is our friend, so we're going to get, I see the cop up on the roof there. You actually got a pretty good shot to him. I wonder if I can take him out from here. Holy cow. Oh, I see the, the spawn too. Oh shit. Come on. Come on, doggy. Wow, I'm surrounded by guys. Whoa. Where's the knife? Did I, did I use it up? Yes, I did. Oh, that was my commando knife too. Or is it just? I gotta kill that. I gotta kill that spawn up there. Got it. All right. Well, good. This is giving me a little more of a challenge here. Squiggly worm over there. I cleaned this out already. I cleaned all that out. Hey. Come on, little fucker. Oh, yeah. I hear you. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Where's he hiding? I see one of your friends. I saw him moving for a second there. Alright, let's take this guy out. What do you got? See, come on, I know you see me. Alright, well, I guess he doesn't want to play. Just go here and loot and stuff. Maybe he'll, he'll join us later. being so weird. Alright, well anyways, we'll move on. Alright, let's go check out the base and our missions in here. Probably that up on our roof there. Yeah, hi right, buddy. And underhand. Oof. Alright. Uh, man, the randomness of the scavenger mod is just crazy. Okay. All right, we'll do a little looting, guys. I'll probably just skip this if nothing exciting happens. All right, so yeah, stupid stubborn. Um, I, I get that people like to hold positions, right, and, and kind of stand on them, right? It, it, it makes you feel, well, some people it makes them feel like they're intellectuals, right? I'm just going to be stubborn about everything, and um, you know, I, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm going to hold it.
Oh, there he is. I'm like, I can't see this guy at all. But yeah, I, I, I have met so many people in my life that have hold positions that have actually been incredibly detrimental to their lives, right? Um, the one, the one that I love is, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything about my health, right? I'm just gonna live the way I want to live because I, I just, I just want to live, right? <laughs> That's what I hear all the time. And then, and then you know, and then they're dead at 50. It's like, how are you, how are you living? Like, how is this a positive thing? Oh, dude. I see you. Oh. And they move quick sometimes. All right. Oh. All right. So yeah, I, I I don't get it. I don't get the stupid stubborn, uh, and I label that anybody who does something that doesn't want to ever change. So the point I'm bringing this up is, it, it's like it. It's more than just I have a position and I'm going to hang my hat on it, and that's going to be the end of it, right? It's I am going to just do this thing. No matter how detrimental to my life, no matter how much it screws people around me, no matter how much, I, I just, I just don't care. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do and I don't care what anybody thinks, right? And then, and then they fuck up their lives, right? Or their lives go south quick and then everybody else has to pick up the pieces, specifically the people that care about them. Now, if you're in a position in life when you don't have anybody who cares about you, I'm, I'm actually really sorry to hear that, you know? Um, I think everybody should have somebody in their life that cares about them in some respects. And if you're in a bad position like that, get get some help, man. Reach out to people. There are plenty of organizations and groups where you can meet people. Get some people in your life, you know. Even if it's just people you hang out with occasionally or something. Just get somebody in your life. And don't be stupid stubborn about it. <laughs> you know? I, some people are like, oh, I'm a, I'm a loner. I don't need anybody. No. Nope. That's not true. Um, I know some people like to believe that. It's just easy. Uh, it's just easy to believe that you, you don't need anybody. No one has to be around because it's just you don't have to maintain friendships. You don't have to actually make an effort. Hey, look at this. That's our mission. You you can just do whatever and and not care, or at least pretend like you don't care. But then little by little, you just get bitter. You get hate more and more hateful. Um, you you surround yourself with less and less people. I'm trying to see. I just keep hearing things. I'm trying to get like get my location and, and the location of enemies. So the point of bringing this up is, uh, in my life, repeatedly, I have encountered people with this stupid stubborn trait. I myself have been guilty of it on occasion. So I understand it. I, trust me when I say I get it. Right? I, I get it. Uh, it's easier to just throw your hand up and your face in the air and say, Nope. Nope. Nope, not me. Not me. I'm not going to do it. I'll do what I want, right? And then your life... Oh, that's a cop. I don't think he sees me. How does he not see me? Oh, he's behind that rock over there. Yeah, that's right, Dutch. Oh, he got me. I think that's the first time a mimic shot me in this game. <laughs> you did. You must have heard all the other noises. Max is coming out to play. What am I at here? Do a quick reload while I'm talking some more. So, I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to get my thoughts together on this whole thing. I had a whole kind of thing planned out. I've been thinking about this kind of stuff a lot. I'm surrounded by people that I, I have worldly examples after examples. But between the game distracting me and my sickness, my brain is just kind of a bit of a fog. I guess what I'm trying to say in the end is don't hold the position. Don't hold on to something in your life that is, is seriously harmful to you just for, for no reason. You know, just try to think about... I see that guy up there.
Come say hi. These guys are not dying easy. Why don't you come out in the fog and got it. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man. Oh, I love this game. I love it so much. I'm glad I turned everything back up a bit. You know, I've been playing VR since my first run through quite a bit so I have gotten a little bit better at some of this stuff. You know is this thing loaded? I always keep this as an auxiliary. It is loaded. Right. Um yeah so I have had to learn a hard lesson about stupid stubborn, right? I, I have tried to hold positions and and just be, you know, this is me and I'm just gonna be this guy and blah 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 and in the end it was just it was just dumb it was like I, I, I took a position and then someone come along and you know threatened that position right it asked me questions about it and I would just get all so defensive and oh yeah I gotta find a spawn don't I I should probably find that quick here shouldn't I <laughs> first. No spawn. All right, loot, loot after we find a spawn. And then we'll do a little more talking about that. And I know I promised a different thing too. I was going to talk about my wife and how we met. And, and there's a great example. Oh, I hear it up ahead here. Jesus. Oh, this is a mission one. So mission ones like this, you save. If you get a fragment mission, then you can just cheat and turn it in. All right, uh, two days, 15 hours before the wipe. Wipe, light. <laughs> Missions are all complete. Oh no, nope, nope. Oh no, it says complete. Find the documents. Find the odd rift, destroy it, and bring back the broken shard. Oh, all right. So it was a, it was a mission. I am so stupid. Hey, that. Uh... <laughs> that would have been bad if that exploded. Like, that would have been the end of me right there. All right, let's get out the yard, loot it, and we'll head back to base. Where I notice a lot of this quote unquote stupid stubborn comes from are people who are much older. Oh, is that it? Wow, I really am going through my supply of knives and I lost my fancy knife. So I'm very unhappy about losing my fancy knife. I think I hear a mimic stomping around. Oh, look at this. Nice. Fancy, S-rail, and a pit, uh, uh, pistol suppressor. Nice. And more magazines. <laughs> so you guys, tell me what you think about the idea of the stupid stubborn, right? Being stubborn for the sake of stubbornness. It, it, I, I get some people will argue from the position of, well, you got to have, you know, you got to stand for something in life and that kind of thing. And that's not the kind of, that's not really the position I'm arguing from. It's standing for something in life that is detrimental to yourself or others. 
right? Yeah, uh, you, you. Oh, here's a great example of someone. Oh, what the hell? That was okay. <laughs> Can of oil just literally sitting on a shelf. <laughs> You know, I gotta keep an eye out for like hidden stuff too. Maybe you guys can tell me if I've. I know SKDC is really good about letting me know if I pass by stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I uh, I've had a chance at my age to look back in my life and kind of analyze the stuff. And I and I see people currently that are just balls out, stubborn about stuff. And 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 I, you know what? I get it. I've I got a very stubborn mind too. I know I know shock to the people that know me, but it's just true. Uh, I can be very opinionated. I can be very uh, I can be very hardline about my stances. Um, wow, it looks like I already cleared this place out. That's interesting. I'm just kind of hoping to be more enemies. I actually increase the amount of enemies. Oh, slugs! Cool. We'll need those slugs later in the in the game when we start facing armored guys. Slugs do pretty good against, at least in my last run, slugs did amazing against armory guys. Like they really took them down pretty, you know, and they kind of shot through the through the armor. You guys let me know if that's still the case, if slugs are still effective against armored foes or, or not. One of you, another PM mag for sale. Yeah, so I, I, I've got, I got friends who take stances and, and that kind of thing and, you know, will hold the line on, on what they believe, and, and I can't fault them for that. So that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is um, I am, I'm just going to be, this is going to be very insensitive, guys, so I apologize in advance. I'm not trying to be, but I am horrible shape. I am out of shape. I am filled with diagnosable issues because of the weight, because I have let my health go, because I eat whatever crap I want to eat and all this kind of stuff, right? Whoa. Oh, I thought that's like a group of them standing over there. And knife your face. <laughs> it's actually fun. Um, so yeah, I've had friends who just, you know, hung their hat on this whole notion that um, just hung their hat on this whole notion of I'm just gonna live my life and I'm gonna do what I wanna do and I don't care and you can't tell me and da 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 and then you, you, you literally stand there and watch them just deteriorate you just watch their lives become watch them be just become miserable people and I mean just just horrible just like just angry at the world and, and make dumb decisions and, and all that kind of stuff I mean really bad decisions <laughs> and, I, and I can assure you without going into details they're about as bad as they get I, I, I do not understand um, I have made some bad choices in my life uh, I can go into all kinds of detail, but I won't because they're really, really personal. Oh, plus P. Nice. But let me assure you, they were dumb. Dumb, dumb, the dumb, dumb with a capital D, dumb. More mags. Okay. Get in the backpack. Uh, we'll go up there and see if there's a case. Sometimes there's a case up above. And then we'll go back in there and, and scout that building. I don't know why I thought there'd be more enemies. So yeah, if you guys have any thoughts about when you know you you and your life has spent some time, uh, you know, just 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 living, uh, just living inside your anger and stuff like that, just just mad at the world for just no freaking reason, um, you know, just just upset at everything, and uh, and you just wanted to you know lash out at people and you didn't want anybody to to help you and you you know like you just want to hang on your cross and be a victim. No matter what anybody said or what anybody tried to do around you, push people away, all that kind of stuff. I mean, stupid, right? Stupid. People are trying to help you and you're just going to shove them away? Like, it just makes no sense. You know, why would you take advice or help people offer you and say, that, that, that is good for me. That actually will help me. I'm not going to do it. Stupid stubborn, right? You're just going to not do something because, and you don't even have a reason. You can't even articulate the reason. You can't even say, this is the reason. Trust me, you could try, but you're just going to sound like a fucking moron. So that's the kind of stuff you want to be careful of in life, guys. Here, I'll give you an example of someone uh, turning off Stupid Stubborn. And, and, the, and the, the company he worked for turning on Stupid Stubborn. Just kind of from both sides of the same coin. I had a friend of mine who worked in a company. And he uh, was the IT guy. Like, he was, 
He was the IT guy. Is this another one of these? Oh my God, guys. All right. Shit. Um, and he was he was the IT guy. Like he was he was the IT person. So there was nobody else in there who really did any of the IT stuff. He did all the 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 the, um, the networking. He did all the the general fixes of things. Like he was all over that place IT wise. So I'm gonna go to that building, that two-story building, and, and loot it out. So he would. So he would, uh, you know, kind of manage everything at the place. And stupid, stubborn, these idiots who ran this company. The company's a multi. It's an international company, and uh, heavy roots in America. I'm not gonna talk about what they sell. I'm not gonna go into that kind of detail. But it's it's stuff that, you know, it's. <laughs> It's sensitive and high volume stuff and, and, and worth a lot of money. So this wasn't like a, a, a cheap little company. This was a big company, multi-billion dollar. <gasps> yeah, I'll take it. I'll take another cleaning rod. And, and you know, so there's a lot to stake. There's a lot riding on the success of the company and keep being efficient and fulfilling orders and like all that kind of stuff. Whew. My shadow, this, I thought that was a person standing there all of a sudden. Whew. All right. And lay off the pot. I mean, I mean, uh, gotta lay off the the herbal tea. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I got nothing. All right. So yeah. So he was the IT guy. He ran everything into place. And they they came. What is, uh, Jesus, guys. Oh. Oh, it's a named one. The underdog. <gasps> Since the creation of the zone, the prolonged exposure radius appears to have increased the performance. It's damage 66. Oh. Um. I don't know. Is there ammo in here? What is this? Oh, this is a PM. Yeah, it's the old Makarov. rounds hold on <laughs> I'm very curious to see what this thing does oh that's cool this is my first name guy the underdog oh this is gonna jam on me for every two seconds here that's fun let's let's see what happens so I hear a dude up in the building well that's weird I could have sworn I heard somebody walking around shit no that is somebody Let's go deal with him. I don't see where he is, though. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, this thing won't even fire. <laughs> well, that's really weird. I wonder what happened there. Underdog. Safety's off. Rounds in the chamber. Oh, I put the safety on. Hello. All right, well, anyways, maybe we'll, we'll scout around the sides and find some random guys to shoot when I finish looting this building. So he was the IT guy for the company. Wow, there's a thing here. 
that's very random. But we will take it. And the company put under stubborn hat said, we're not going to think about consequences. We're just going to start doing stuff. So what they did was they outsourced because they thought we're going to save money, right? They were warned, this guy is your IT guy. He knows everything that's going on in that business. Do not get rid of him. Of all the people to get rid of, you can cut all kinds of people. And they cut me too because we worked in the same company. They, they, they cut him. It was, <laughs> it was the stupidest thing I've ever, 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 ever seen. I, I know this story real well because not only did I work with the guy, but he was actually the, the guitarist in my band, one of my first bands. Uh, Sin City was our name. And uh, we, were, we were not great. <laughs> but, you know... We used to, we're just starting out and everything, and we just want to be rock guys running around and stuff like that. Only our singer, uh, who might be dead by now because he had a kidney transplant, so there's a good chance he's already, he's already passed off in this world. So I don't like talking bad about the dead, but Jack was kind of an interesting character, so he kind of... <laughs> what, what is... Whoa. Man, the randomness of stuff that's just hiding inside of objects. So they fired him. Right? They laid him off and let him go. Stupid stubborn. Why did they do that? Because they thought, they were convinced, even though people were telling him, don't do this, this is a mistake, this guy is your IT, he knows all about your stuff, blah, blah, blah. They did it. So what happens? A month later, the systems are all having problems. All kinds of issues. We are shutting down everything. We can't get product out because the computers aren't working right. The network itself is having flaws. The software program that he single-handedly help develop. Is this a picture I can take home? I'm kind of looking for more of those pictures. Um, all that kind of stuff. So he, he was the master of my mind, all this type of thing. And they laid him off. Oh, man. Um, well, we'll take the mags and the ammo. All right. Before we leave, guys, I'm going to try that trick. Somebody show, told me a trick about uh, how you can cheat. And I just want to try it. It's not like it's not a game-breaking kind of thing. It's just a, a way to get loot back to base uh, or back to a location. Like if you're encumbered, like right now, I'm probably, yeah, I'm fairly encumbered. Ooh, is this loaded? It's loaded too. We'll just carry it. Weird. I keep hearing like the, the running of a mimic. So I'm going to leave this by the front of the train yard. Daylight, daylight, daytime, daytime. All right, anyway, so this company, having stupidly got rid of him, and he he was going to do all kinds of crazy stuff in defiance of this, right? He was going to put on his stubborn hat and be pissed off and do all this kind of stuff. And then he stopped, took a breath, and then realized, you know what, no, this is an opportunity. I'm just gonna walk. I'm not gonna do anything, I'm not gonna change anything, I'm not gonna sabotage anything. He was pissed, he, he could have, and there are not too many people in the world who would have really faulted him. Because the dude put a lot of time in that place and he got screwed over. So yeah, he, uh, he just left. Jesus. I appreciate like all the stuff guys, but man, it's just crazy. It's a long shotgun. That's what she said. Is there a mimic walking around over there? Because I keep hearing. Let's find out. I guess not. So yeah, he uh, he got fired or laid off. They really didn't give much of a severance. And I mean, they really screwed him uh, when they did all this stuff. But he, again, took off his stubborn hat and this notion of sabotage and all this kind of stuff. And he said, all right, let me just let me just walk away. Well, that was weird. He like melted with the ground. Um, and, and we'll just go from there. So he kind of forgot about the place in his search for a new job. And... 
all of a sudden, about a month or so afterwards, and he already actually was getting himself a new job, they call him up out of the blue because everything's going to hell, right? So this is what I was told. Lock on and then leave. So supposedly you can go like quite a distance with the lock on. The lock on never breaks. So let's see. We'll go to the train. And if it works the way I was told, I should be able to click the grip and have the gun come right to my hand no matter where I am on the map. Alright, so we'll get up here to the train. So yeah, they, they call them up and say, hey, we're screwed. And he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> and we're going to hire you back. He said, no. He said, no, we'll, we'll give you more money. He said, yeah, you are, but not going to hire me back as an employee. I'm going to come back as a contractor. And they refused. They refused. You know, you can see the stubbornness. They're just, they're stupid. They're stupid about this whole thing. And they just, they wouldn't want to admit it. I summoned the shotgun. <gasps> <laughs> magic isn't that cool so basically if you're the idea is if you're carrying a lot of encumbrance and you put you want to pick up a few guns you can grip them get to the edge of the map right by the um right by the portal and then just hit the grip and then you know poop poop you got two items in your hand <laughs> that, that took a second though kind of kind of made me think i wasn't gonna i wasn't gonna get them i just got a b-rail on it i've never seen a shotgun with a b-rail all right, guys, we're going to head back to base now we complete these missions, and we'll, uh, we'll talk some more. So, yeah, he said, you're going to hire me as a contractor. He came back on board, made a ton of money as a contractor, like three times plus his salary, his original salary, easily, right? He didn't really have much in the way of benefits and all that stuff anyways, so it wasn't like he lost that amount. All right. Yeah, I'm not really sure where you came from, but... interesting because I walked right through this area and nobody was here so yeah because he was able to keep his emotions in check and and think instead of just reacting and 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 uh, I mean he was he was all in and stuff like that he was gonna really sabotage his company and and they wouldn't have been able to do anything about it or even prove that it was him he knew the systems that well they were screwed they were really screwed but their stupid stubborn wouldn't let him admit to just how valuable this employee was just, they couldn't admit it to themselves. It's just pride. And they almost basically destroyed their company or, or had, have to spend like thousands and thousands of dollars to have somebody, third party, come in and fix everything. Um, so he made out like a band. He was there for about a year and a half. Uh, then he went on tour with my band, which was dumb, guys. But you're young. You do the dumb things when you're young. And, uh, yeah, he uh, made a lot of money. <laughs> Because he was able to hold back his emotions and, you know, think and not just lash out and not just react. And in the end, he, he, he made out like a bandit. And the company lost a ton of money to him. Uh, he set his own hours and all that kind of stuff. Like he just, yeah, and they were pissed, but they couldn't do a damn thing about it. So you can run around at home and not lose any stamina. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just one example. I can give others. Uh, I have known people who have watched in their own lives people suffer from bad choices. And then I watched those same people who watched the other person make bad choices make the bad, make bad choices. Like, just, just go all in on the whole bad choice idea. Like, not, not at all thinking in any way, shape, or form that maybe maybe I should take a break. Maybe I should stop for a second and back up and think about it. Nope. All in on it. So guys, the point is, think about your life and the decisions you've made or are going to make. And, and think about the decision you've made. Think about why you've made that decision. Especially if you have people around you, or, or maybe it's just your gut. Right? Maybe it's just maybe it's just your gut saying this is a really bad mistake. Don't do this thing. 
right? Yeah, a little bit of money, a little bit of money. Not much to go off of. I guess let's go look at the mix. The, the, let's go look at missions, and then we'll decide what we're going to do on the next one. I need more pictures. Guys, let me know if I've got close to any pictures. I know there's like stuffed animals around. Let me know if I got close to those stuffed animals too. Nine in the morning, and we have, oh, put that on. We have two days before the next one. Two days, two days, seven hours. So we're doing pretty good on that. So we should be able to get a bunch of stuff done. Uh, oh no, the factory. <laughs> oh God, I am not ready for this one, but that's gonna make it more fun. All right, let's go back to the village here. Find the neon, use a gas mask. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, operation cleanup. Oh, God. Shit. We'll take lots of ammo. Find the documents. Why not? And then treasures. Heavy helix. What we'll do... We'll take it. I don't care about the paparazzi. Oh, look at all the red. Look at all the red. Uh, we will do all the village ones, as many as we can within the, the white time. And then we will head to the factory. And if we're heavily loaded, we'll drop stuff off at the safe house up here. Um, this guy over here. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Oh, the OKZ. I am not looking forward to that one. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. We should have a fair amount of ammo, and our guns are pretty pretty good. Like, we're, we're doing pretty well with what we have, so we should be able to bring some pain. Uh, I just don't have any AKs or any fun lights like that. I might switch the... I don't know. I don't have that much ammo. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stock up one Glock. I'll get all these guns out of here, including my backups, and I'll take one Glock, load it with AP... And then when we come across armored targets, we'll pull the Glock on those guys. How about that? We can do that. Plus P. I don't have much in the way of plus P for the 9 by 18 So we'll do that. We'll, we'll gear up a Glock. We'll keep it as a backup. Eight armored guys come out. Chick, boom, boom, boom. We'll take those guys out. And we'll go from there. Yeah, so stubborn. Don't be it. Think about your life. Think about your decisions. If people around you, especially people who really do seem like they care are, are telling you that you're making a mistake hey stop don't do this thing stop this thing don't don't marry this person don't buy real estate with a person you're not married to who essentially is just looking at you as a retirement plan <laughs> unfortunately i'm giving a real real life example but the person doesn't watch my video so they're not going to know what i'm even talking about them and, and to be honest i don't care i i just i can't understand the mistakes people are making um you know, you, you are of a certain age and you have kids, but you don't care about your health. You're just going to eat shit food and not exercise and not do anything to make yourself better or put yourself in a better position. And then you're going to be stupid stubborn about it. This is what I'm talking about, guys. I have seen this in 53 years of my life. I have seen this over and over and over again where people are just fucking themselves and they just don't care. It, it's, it's, this, it's this arrogance that I can just do whatever and... and it, you know, and it's not going to matter. But then, and then truth. Oh, let's see if we can get in, in the chest here. Hey, oh, look at that. Oh, that's not, that's not a bad little shot. But then the truth comes out, right? The truth hits them. Like a giant, you know, 18-inch rubber dildo in my head. Just kabam! And they're like, oh, oh, yeah. We are mortal, and treating our bodies like shit has consequences. Maybe, maybe I, uh... Maybe I shouldn't have um, spent decades of my life treating myself like like a you know like a, treating myself like I hate myself. How about that? <laughs> right? Treating myself like I, I am my own worst enemy. I don't know what I'm looking for here, guys. Just feel like I feel like sometimes I haven't searched the whole base. Because sometimes during through missions and all that, you'll get like more stuff. So be careful with that and. Uh, and I really care about you guys, uh, uh, everybody who has been a part of my channel for a while, especially. Ooh, it burns the fingertips. Um, I don't want anything to happen to anybody, you know? Even if I don't know you in the real world, I, I have a genuine affection for human beings. 
That's why it hurts me so bad when I watch them just destroy themselves. Don't do it, you know. Do everything you can to try to live a peaceful life, but also live a good life, live a solid life, and, and do the right things for yourself. And do the right things for the people around you, especially those who are supporting you or helping you, people that care about you. And don't tell me you don't have anybody. I hear this all the time. You have somebody you care, somebody who's able to reach out to you or you're able to reach out to them and you can extend a hand and say, hey, I need some help. There's, there's, you're going to have somebody. Don't give me this bullshit that you don't. Right? There are very, very few people in the world that have no one. Just, it just not, it's just not a thing. So just analyze your life. Look at the things around you. Look at the decisions you're making. Think about things before you just start doing stuff. Get, get the emotions out of it as much as you can. And just try to be better. Try to do better. Try to get all the crap out of your life. Stop making the bad decisions. Stop doing the things that are hurting you. And you're just going to be in a better place. You just, you just, you just are. That's just the bottom line. All right. Anyways, thanks for coming along, guys. We got a whole slew of missions. So next session next week is going to be, it's going to be a nightmare. I mean, this is going to be just action Jackson time right here. I'm not even going to go through this zone. I'm just going to go right into the village, and we're just going to start murdering stuff. There's going to be a lot of them because, like I said, I increased in the settings the uh, the number of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. All right. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Take care. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay safe. Let's get our cans of food that teleport out of the... You know, I had this sort of organizing, I guess. Maybe it wasn't as organized as I thought it was. So I, I can't do Timid Bunny. Timid Bunny is just amazing. But yeah, you, you guys get it. I know I kind of ramble through stuff. My brain is a mush right now because of the medication and COVID kind of torturing my senses. And yeah. Luckily, I was able to keep from coughing. That's a good thing. I'll see you guys next time. Just, yeah, hopefully we won't uh, have time to talk too much and I won't ramble as bad. We'll just get out there and do some missions. If you guys want me to talk about anything, um, I realized that I forgot to completely talk about my wife and our situation, but this video is long enough and I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to make them four hours long. So I'll talk about it next time. I'll talk about her and I, how we met, and... There's some, there's some surprising, or maybe not so surprising, stupid, stubborn stories mixed into the whole thing. Not from, not from our part necessarily, but definitely the people who we thought we could rely on, that we thought would help us out and be on our side. And it turned out, no, no, they had their own motivations for everything. And yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.